Hiding in a grove of redwood trees high above Oakland in the San Francisco Bay is a little known space center with a sock skating rink inside. John Bartel here, making a little pit stop at the Chavot Space and Science Center in Oakland. Oakland is not known for ice skating because the temperatures in the Bay Area rarely drop below freezing, but leave it to a space science center to create an alternative. What exactly are we doing here? So we're about to do a sock skate. Sock so skate. this is a, a very slick, smooth mm-hmm. surface. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand how sock skating works. But executive director Adam Tobin says it does take some skill and a good pair of socks to stay upright on their scientifically smooth floor. Does this have anything to do with space out here or is it just kind of a a fun thing? It's a fun thing. So the key to a good sock skate, it's all about the socks. Fun is a very important element at Chabot and they've been mixing fun and science together for a long time. One of the oldest informal learning science institutions in the country. Chabot is 140 years old. The Space and Science Center was founded in 1883 by philanthropist Anthony Chabot, a man who believed in education and loved astronomy. And it all started with this, an eight inch telescope called Leia. (laughs) It was not named after Princess Leia, though we do get one or two uh, Star Wars and Star Trek fans up here. The telescope was a gift to the city of Oakland with the caveat that it would be available to the general public. And over the years, the construction of larger telescopes and observatories took place. It's still today, even though it's 140 years old, um, it is still incredibly inspiring and powerful to look through this telescope. Even though two of the three telescopes at Chabot are over 100 years old, the public can still use them and explore the night sky every week. Houston, we have a problem. The telescopes at Chabot even played a crucial role in helping the damaged Apollo 13 space capsule get home. We played an instrumental role in sighting and tracking Apollo 13 uh, and bringing him home safely. And that was, uh, um, that inspired a certain filmmaker who went on to create the movie Apollo 13. Today, the NASA Ames Research Center and Chabot have a close relationship. Inside the 80,000 square foot Space and Science Center, you'll find a number of educational activities and NASA artifacts like spacesuits, rockets, and a moon rock. So any day that you come to Chabot, you're going to have a rich, full experience, and we hope something unexpected and something that provokes a little bit of awe, a little bit of wonder, and curiosity. From the Chabot Space and Science Center in Oakland, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the macro.